Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now a while ago I bought a Switch Lite. Why you ask? Well, primarily for Animal Crossing. New Leaf was my favourite on the DS as a kid and New Horizons made me glad I bought Nintendo's new handheld. Have I ever been fishing in real life? No. Do I have any intention to? No. Have I ever spent three hours planting roses outside my house? Uh, maybe. This game, although on paper shouldn't, just appeals to me on so many levels. I then got to thinking about blockbuster AAA titles, the likes of Skyrim and The Witcher 3 to name a couple, that have been ported to this handheld, and I wondered how well a gaming PC of a similar price would compare. So don't get me wrong, I know this comparison doesn't make too much sense. I don't think too many of you are flipping a coin over whether to get a Switch Lite or to build a new computer. This video is purely a product of my curiosity. So why the Switch Lite, first of all? Well, I had no desire to play my Switch games on the big screen. If I'm doing that, I might as well be playing on my PC or PS4, right? Maybe I regret it a little for the sake of experiencing the exclusives on a bigger display, but the portability was my main incentive behind my purchase decision. Now even though I already own them, I then purchased The Witcher 3 and Skyrim on the Switch during a sale. I got both for a total of about £45. I understand that buying the same game twice for another platform may not make too much sense, but be honest, how many of you have got Skyrim or The Witcher or GTA on various platforms? I bet it's quite a few of you. Now, I don't want to ignore a possible elephant in the room. If you want to play your favourite games whilst sitting on the sofa instead of at your desk, then you could just take advantage of cloud gaming from your PC to a phone or tablet, and sure, you wouldn't have to buy the same game again. I can totally see why this Switch Lite may, to some, seem like a novelty or a gimmick, I really can, but let's get into the other games. So Skyrim on the Switch Lite looks good. The Switch Lite's 5.5 inch screen means that the image remains fairly sharp and the low resolution means that a solid 30 FPS is doable most of the time. It looks great and while it's clear there are visual sacrifices, it holds up nicely. On a PC made up of an i3-6100, an RX-550 and 8 gigs of RAM, we can run the game at 1080p with around 35 FPS. This PC would cost me about the same to build as a Switch Lite would to buy after factoring in the case, PSU and SSD. A truly solid port on the Switch though, and still a solid way to play even for a new player, I think. The Witcher 3 on the other hand started life looking a little rough around the edges on the handheld and in some respects it still does, though the 3.6 update means that graphical settings are now tweakable and after turning up sharpening, disabling anti-aliasing and switching off blur, the experience is much improved. Let's just take a moment to appreciate the fact that we have Witcher 3 on the Switch anyway. It runs at a dynamic resolution here, though again the benefits of the small screen include the fact that the implementation of an ever-changing picture count doesn't really diminish the overall quality too much. My favourite part about this port though is the ability to upload saves between this console and PC so you can pick up right from where you left off. This works both ways so not only can you upload saves from the Switch to the PC but from the PC to the Switch as well. This is where I think the handheld comes into its own. As a companion to The Witcher 3 it adds a whole other level of just coolness. More games should certainly implement a feature like this. On the PC, performance wise again our cheap system can handle 30fps even at 1080p, albeit on the lowest preset, but it does still look good even on my 40 inch display. Turning things down to 720p means a closer to 60fps average with some drops, but again it looks fairly good. Personally, at this resolution, I think the game looks better on the Switch Lite small display, as the graphical sacrifices are less noticeable, even if the frame rate isn't as good. So, you're a PC gamer. Is a Switch Lite right for you? Well, I think so. The Witcher 3 is a good example of where this console makes sense, carrying on your adventures on the go, and the ability to go down different paths, story-wise, on the PC version and Switch Lite version of Skyrim simultaneously is also pretty cool. Most importantly though, Animal Crossing. That's that's why you should get a Switch Lite. Playing Animal Crossing in the garden. <laughs> Seriously though, I'd like to reiterate that this comparison really doesn't make too much sense, but I just thought it would be fun 
to do and I hope you've had fun watching. So there we have it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like on it. Let me know what you think of the Switch or Switch Lite and whether you have one as well as a PC or another console. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one.